Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video review and this time we have a review from DIY Shoes. I love this company very much but with my luck it's been <laughs> second time in a row I've received something that is broken unfortunately. It is I think maybe because it was one package and all products were shipped in one package uh, maybe that is why, not sure, but for today's specifically video, we will have video everything about, you know, cross stitch embroidery. And because not everybody cross stitch, I will have today for you second video with different company, but it's going to be all diamond painting. So you will have, and this is, should be, is it Saturday or Sunday? Um, Saturday? I think we will have two videos again so one for cross stitchers and one for diamond painting so let's see what I have in here this is something huge and awesome but first I want to show you this little organizers for parking your needles and organize your threads they are really good but I think they need to reconsider a little bit how to ship them it would be very nice to at least wrap this all maybe in a bubble wrap separately or um, maybe even develop some kind of box with like a cardboard box or something because it did if you look in here those two teeth in here got broken so it did not survive shipping and this is actually the first time happened like this to me I did uh, have a couple of different one colors from different stores. They all show up nice and perfect. This one did not survive. It has, and here you go, they are still those broken pieces inside of the bag, as you can see. Uh, unfortunate. So, I don't know. We'll see if they can maybe uh, send the other one with different package if they kind enough to do that. But I would say for the future shipping to somebody else, not just me, uh, it would be nice to have a little bit more security for this. If you order in a big package and diamond paintings and cross stitch, they kind of heavy. So obviously something push on the top and two of those separators got broken. Uh, what I like about them, because you can park your needles, this is the foam, not foam, like a felt inside in here, which is an easy needle go on the inside. And then you wrap your threads around these points, right? And then you split in here on a, those little pieces, you need to kind of push to split them, and then you re-thread on the side. Uh, in here so it's kind of secured this thing between so threads not coming out and I like to use them for my bigger cross stitch where lots of colors for example my Hyatt and I need to park sometimes threads if I don't finish and I have like a one or two stitches only in the certain area and you just don't want to go back and uh, re-thread that uh, leftover thread to your actual palette. That's why it's good to have this extra. And we have a four in here, printed paper. They are double-sided. So you can put inside in here uh, just a one. Go on the inside like this. Okay. So you can put your... DMC code on one side, DMC code on another side, and then each this little square you can park your needle and obviously hang threads hanging over from here. So it is comfortable. Here is how it's made on the other side. So it stays nice and flat. I do like them. I do like them and I have to figure out maybe maybe with the super glue I can <laughs> glue back these pieces I don't know I feel kind of sad that it's got broken so uh, yes not strong enough to survive shipping and to be honest I'm sure they put inside nice one brand new one not broken one but the way they ship and toss those bags that's what happened it got broken accidentally so I do not blame store it's just uh, my my luck that's all what I can say 
Okay, so we're going to put this aside in here and now I will show you. I have a two canvases in here and today I have for you, for those who like 11 count Ada and both of these canvases are 11 count Ada. We will see this one on the uh, on end because it is very big one. Another huge one, the one that makes me goosebumps when I open because it's so beautiful. Now this one also 11 count and let me pull out first. That's what kind of I don't remember if I pay attention that this is 11 count or I meant to order 14 and accidentally didn't look that this is 11 count or I did know. I have no idea but also I have one more canvas that is 11 count and usually Joy Sunday I like to have uh, 14 count but this one let's see yeah this one it says Joy Sunday so in here this is the image that oh, it, let's the see name winter travel it's called 11 count and 77 by 52 centimeters now I'm not uh, said that this is 11 count Ada because I do love to stitch on 11 it's very comfy for me to stitch first of all for the video for you colors in here is beautiful and I think why I ordered this in 11 because there's a possibility this particular canvas did not have size in 14 so that's the only way I order and same as like happened to me some images I look 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 so many times and I did not order till finally it keep hunting me till I order uh, and by the way, I do have this image in my cross stitch saga as a digital design in, in SXD format. But this is something to hold on and cuddle and flip the pages. I really, really love. There's lots that's going on up there. Look at this. People tobogganing. There's a beautiful house in the background. And look at the sunset up there. It's like in here, this so beautiful sky. Sky is gorgeous. I can see in here already that we have lots of pattern for the background. And I mean back stitch. Yeah, there's a fence in here or it looks like almost like a boat. No, it's a fence in here. Some pumpkins that people forgot to put away. And when I'm looking right now, I see actually geese flying up there. I think it is. Or if turkey, maybe it's a wild turkey. <laughs> Trying to figure out what kind of bird that is. No, definitely not geese because it looks like a neck very short. Maybe wild turkey, I'm not sure. But very colorful. Very colorful. Winter travel. And let's see where is our colors in here. Those shiny pages. Well, wow, lots of backstitch in here for sure. Basically everything. Outlining absolutely almost everything. Horse, the buggy, the tree, the grass. Yeah, lots of lots of backstitch in here. So for those who don't like backstitching, I would say you can stitch just with cross stitch, full stitch, but it's not going to be as beautiful. But also just maybe avoid if you don't like a backstitching, which is still going to be looking good without backstitch, I promise you. But it's always better to just follow the rules than because you're going to see, for example, uh, let's see this bird in here, right? I will show you a little bit. Without backstitch, it's going to be just a blob of color without recognition probably this bird. So the backstitch do a lot to help. And how many colors we have in here? Good amount of colors. It's 45 colors in full stitch. Then we have two colors in French knot. And we already have this you tutorial how to create French knot. If you did not see my tutorial and you don't know how to create right way, I did show in my cross stitch video on cross stitch Wednesday. Yes, on European Town I did tutorial how to create French knot. 
proper way and wrong way. So please check it out that video, which was this last Wednesday. And then we have backstitch in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors in backstitch. Wow, yes, this is a beautiful, colorful design. Let's see the threads, what kind of threads go with it. Okay. Let's put in here. Well, we'll have to put this away probably because canvas will be big in 11 count. I have to say by looking at the threads right now, it's not very bright palette. Like when you look in a picture, it looks so bright and cheery, but this is really like every color, it's it's on a muted tone, not like those neon flashing bright. It's very soft looking palette. Let me show you them first. We have two needles. Let me check what kind of needle. I'm trying to find more of those needles that I'm stitching for 11 count. There is like a, a cut out nose. This one kind of like a medium. It's a nice and short needle which will create less waste of your threads and also have a little bit of the point which will be easy to stitch go through the wave to secure thread like I show you in my tutorials how I do it uh, and the canvas canvas is not very tough so it will be easy to stitch on it oh look, look at this blues look at those blues that is so pretty Maybe this is extra palette, I think. Oh yeah, this is definitely extra palette because we have in here uh, two of this color, two of this, two of this. So this is like an extra. But the actual colors we have to see on this smaller palette. So here is the one. See, they're not very bright colors. It looks cheery, but they are on the muted side. And maybe just to separate from the background, I don't know, this way. This this blue, very pretty. Even together with this brown, look how nice. It's probably going to be for the trees. And with just one color of green. Yeah, just the one color of green. And well, this one kind of green, this one gray, definitely. So this, oh no, I see more, I see more on this side. So it's kind of like, that's all we have for greens. This one more even to the gray, kind of gray green family. But it is beautiful all together. That's a nice, nice colors, isn't it? So yes, it's going to be nice in soft colors, this design, not so flashy and boom, bright, like bright. Okay, let's open canvas itself. In 11 count, it's going to be bigger than it would be. Oh, you know what? The canvas is much smaller than than size in here because whatever size in here 77 would be this way but look how big border in here it's almost like one two almost like maybe three inches in here and then in here two inches so it's just a lots of fabric excess especially on this side so the image much smaller than sizes but it's still 11 count of course in 11 count it will be much bigger than in 14. Now in stitches if you're wondering in stitches oh, it's in here 288 by 180 so it doesn't sound like it's a lot right it's just because the square bigger but it's the same amount of stitches if would be on 14 count but you will have a nice and big picture to practice uh, definitely easy canvas to stitch if you scratch the back stitching, uh, no confetti in here. It's it's nice and bright canvas. Uh, nice already. I uh, love that they always always overstitch the edges in here, so you don't have to. 
I like that future enjoy Sundays there has lots of numbers and a patches of the color so you don't even need to look on the border in here it's already in here you just pick color and go through and by the way this is a full cross stitch yes full cross stitch sky and everything it's not partial usually lots of designs create all this and then you have a patches a white that you don't have to stitch in here we are we are stitching absolutely everything and we will have nice beautiful sky in a big patches to stitch but look how gorgeous that will be nice what's a very look there's some there's a church on the back up there uh, looks like a fence like I didn't even look yet now I see there's a fence in here but like this dark point it's a fence looks like a road go up on a hill somewhere there's a far away up there church peak up there the sun is rising which create this beautiful glow or maybe sunset um sunset or sunrise not sure uh usually sky red like this for the sunset so i would guess it's a sunset and people party and this is one of the holidays that exist in Europe people sit in a horse buggy and driving around and singing sound oh that was a long long time ago I don't know probably in a young age of my mom when she was a young girl that was more popular now probably not so much these days everything is the old tradition kind of getting forgotten a little bit okay so the canvas itself is very very nice it's not very stiff still well it still will be probably hard to put in a frame it's a little bit more stiff than we did with you comparison video uh, but also it's not like a brick it's still it's still flexible it's still flexible all right so this is a beauty and let's organize them nice back in here oh love it love it love it love it and then we have one huge and there's something that will be familiar for you are you ready let me open this bag there now okay this one's shiny i like that this they create stickers so this one is a booklet and let me know what you think about it is it sounds like a familiar something to you with the big tree up there yes it is we are diamond painting this do you remember i have a diamond painting that is double sided adhesive and I told you you can buy this same canvas in uh, port glue and I thought that would be so interesting if cross stitch exactly uh, same image so I did not compare images yet but I think this is exactly same image that I have diamond painting and I've been working on all this corner on this tree remember the sky so I kind of did this this part so far that is same image so if you want to cross stitch you want a diamond paint now you have ability to order or both of these beautiful crafts or just one so this is huge also because we have in here in 11 count 11 count ada so the size would be 150 which is meter 50 by 65 centimeters and I really love this brand that they create like this booklet so it's a definitely an uh, Asian brand Chinese probably right um, they always put extra sticker that you can create uh, like a journal what you uh, what you stitch in it's a beautiful picture before you start cross stitch for example just to show your viewers what you're working on uh, very nice soft pastel color so this threads in here should be very very beautiful and soft looking now I have to ask 
I have to ask company how to find this particular canvases kits to establish them which one is Joy Sunday, which one is not because usually most of 11 count that would be like no brand and I don't like those so I need to f tell maybe to the company to point it out on the top of their page classic cross stitch that would be what is it no it's not classic yeah classical cross stitch uh, maybe they should separate this canvases as well and not separate because I would totally purchase them uh, from this brand because they are amazing now I would love to see how many colors and what we have in here okay so in here we have just the uh, same as Joy Sun they would create for you um, the booklet that they have on the back of the bags in here right so we have in here on a piece of paper stitches different kind of stitches and how many colors in here okay so this is like a flip book uh, symbols in here very tiny printed so if you would want to to create this uh, as a counted it will be a little bit difficult to do because um, it's already lots of pages but still very uh, small squares now where is the colors did they miss the usually up front no this is front page maybe on the back oh it's right in here on the very very back so we have in 24 pages this book now the wonderful thing is we can totally read what kind of stitches that is right <laughs> we are so understand chinese okay so my guess is this is all full stitch because it doesn't have a different numbers and all follow from lowest from 10 to you know from 10 to 20 30 40 48 colors so this is all full stitch only uh, is it uh, partial on the sky? We don't know yet. We are about to find out right now. But this is definitely easy to stitch because just a full stitch and that's it. That's all you have to follow. Oh, I, my, my heart is flying now because I want to open threads. Oh. oh, the goosebumps. The goosebumps running. <laughs> goosebumps running away. Look at this okay look at that the first palette you already see the beauty of it the the pastels blues the grays look how soft and gorgeous this palette is oh the deeper up there the better and yes they always uh, they always hang their thread like this without creating a knot in here and that's what i recommend it's the best and just later on you braid these pieces to maybe like a two braids it's still going to be easy to pull out your threads and um, keep them at the same time nice and organized so we don't fluff them by carrying too long time because obviously you will be stitching this one canvas for a long time so yes let's see this is the one palette from 1 to 15 oh so beautiful so anyway in here you see all the same color they put all the same color that's why it's like 12 13 14 14 14 14 15 so they named the palette all in the same hold on let me separate them you see how they okay my camera will be stopped in a second you see where you have the same color it's the same number and then look how many 14 just for this one instead of creating like one pack of them they nicely spread them out on a palette in here this uh, like these two colors gray and blue look so nice together all those pastels colors and then we have okay okay maybe on the side I will put in here palette number two Oh, the baby blue. Look at this. Okay, like this. Look at this baby blue color. When I saw this cross stitch canvas, I thought my heart will pop away. And I'm just like, 
please 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 be this in nice uh, Chinese brand that is like that's exactly the one that I show you because usually uh, this kind of designs if you see those pictures like a deers and stuff like that most likely you will receive as this brand I already uh, kind of catch myself that I pretty much good on guessing to see because that's the way those Chinese flowers like this kind of bouquet right like we are picking in here on the side that I stitch in right now then Chinese flowers the peacocks they usually this is the brand but I will definitely will ask on behalf of your name if you wish me to to ask company to separate this brand uh, separate as well same as Joy Sunday because I really love them I love them for the packing of their threads I like the book well the size of the print a little bit too small but they are very good quality uh, canvases and mostly of them in 11 count but they are huge canvases so this palette number two is gorgeous and it's getting better and better now look at this color and this is the color the one like uh, similarity of what I like in diamond paint and this kind of like a baby teal uh, color oh the, the blue those palettes are so beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's going to be the softest ever design. Mm. And then in here, the rest of, we have two colors in here. Yellowish and white. I think one of them, they usually they say ecru, I think. Um, off white color and this one probably like a 5200 or 5600 what is it white color anyway what a beauty and I do love this this kind of palettes as well so let me put them back as they were because I'm absolutely thrilled to see these colors so pretty oh I wish I can stitch all of them. I need a second life. <coughs> I talk too much. I have a tickle in my throat. I need something to drink. I didn't bring any drink with me. Now, this beauty, we're going to put aside a little bit. Somewhere up there. Now, what else in here? There's always with this kind of kits, we have pack of tools as well so in here we have a threader that you always see me using in my videos okay let me open just in case you are beginner and by the way we've reached already 19,000 subscribers on my channel thank you so much everyone welcome welcome to my channel all my new viewers I do appreciate you join my channel and we will have lots of fun together in here so look at this, we have a threader, uh, which I like the small small size I use for 14 count and work for 11 as well, but this one I always use for 11 count because it's a little bit bigger. This tool I try to use, <laughs> I still uh, kind of not comfortable, I don't know, I have to more practice maybe, I can figure out have to work I try on different fingers and I still end up poking my finger I don't know uh, and then we have this little squishy which is good to put your needles inside usually they put inside needle like this so they kind of all stay in here but let me see this needles what kind of needles that is sometimes they put extra needle inside wave to the fabric we will see if they have or not but in here you have one, two, five, five needles. And they are that kind that I think in the other canvas that we saw. That is still like a, a little bit pointy but not as sharp. And I will put them right away to this little bowl. So they can stay all intact. 
kind of doesn't go through the center, okay. So we don't lose them. Okay. So the tool is great. I, I like this little tiny kit. Uh, when you have too many of this cross stitch, you will think, oh, why you need so many tools, but there's always somebody who purchases for the first time. So this is a great starter toolkit for you. Now, are you ready? I want to be very careful because I'm not sure yet if they have an extra needle in here or not. And this is a huge canvas. Uh, also already done with the um, stitching all the way around so it's not gonna fray. Oh yes it is. Look, that's what I'm saying. You have to be very careful because sometimes you can be in a loose. Here it is. We have another two needles. So you have uh, seven needles with this kit. And what kind of needles in here? Same kind? Okay, this one needle <laughs> went through the difficult time. Uh, look at that. Let's see if you're gonna see it. Yeah. Look, it's, no, hold on. You see how much bend it? You see that? <laughs> uh, let's keep uh, going off the focus. Look how bend it, it's not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. I never knew this needle can bend without breaking. So I guess it was uh, maybe from shipping or whatever. Some got a little bit. I don't know. How you, how is it possible to bend the needle? How about the other one? Not very straight either. So yeah, this one needle a little bit funky. Very funky. I will put them inside to this bag so I don't lose them because at this point I don't think I will use them because they are not straight so might as well I will toss them later somewhere in a safe place so we don't have trouble this needle laying around okay I think I might have to stand up off my chair because I need more room to show you okay so this is a full stitch i thought maybe we will have a partial stitching for the sky but no everything have to be stitching here lots of sky i would recommend if you okay how are we going to see all this that's a big canvas big canvas wow and you know what, the, the canvas itself much even softer than the other one. So it will be easy to put on a frame or a hoop. And yeah, this is what kind of, it's probably like a logo of this company who printed this or design. And look at that, look at this. Dears, I have to maybe move canvas a little bit further, hold on further and I will lift it up a little bit camera so just give me a second I will lift it up a little bit just like that okay I think this way we will see a little bit more so I will start from here that's the big tree that I work with diamond painting and here it is I would say very simple design because we can see lots of patches of the same color the only a little bit more busy looking it's uh, kind of on a tree area which is still very good uh, maybe a little bit on the bushes in here more changing colors but most of this is just uh, so easy here's those tears to get oh this way okay we're still going, we're still going. So I'm going to tell you that I am 164 centimeters my height and this is 150. So I can use this as a blanket. <laughs> Definitely will be like a beautiful display somewhere by your sofa, on a wall for the Christmas time. 
even like a tapestry what you can do when you finish cross stitch you can add on the bottom in here you know this um like a to create like a tassels all the way uh some people do with the cross stitch and threads by finishing like on the bottom and create like a little rug i, I really like that kind of stuff and you can use this as a ta tapestry i think that's what they call now i would recommend and maybe i even would do if i would stitch this one soon enough for the sky i would go maybe a half stitch because that's a lot of stitching in full stitch and uh, lots of time if you would buy like in a smaller design this would be full stitch the sky background the half stitch and i like this combination of full and half stitch um, but that's that would be that would be lot to stitch in full stitch for the sky area in half stitch would be all right mm, i just i don't know in three or in two threads well in three threads probably would be nice in a half stitch if you remember me trying one time on a big canvas to stitch with the flowers the same kind of brand i practice first uh, well not practice i did the test in stitch in the six threads four and three i think i did and three was the most the kind of you can go with it and was looking okay and six was just way too much but some people stitch the whole design in a half stitch in six threads and i actually don't like that because it make it very bulky and pushing the stitches together in three would be nice half stitch and a full stitch but i'm okay i'm i'm rumbling again a lot but look at that canvas going 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 never ending and i was just looking yesterday to my canvas like this in diamond painting to keep continue work on it and now you have choice to choose the same image in cross stitch because it's truly beautiful and the most beautiful thing in here it's the threads the threads palette oh my goodness if i can just like separate them like this it's uh eye candy eye candy for grown-ups okay very pretty colors so many of these colors like a mossy pinkish purple beautiful the, the pastels of this uh, green and blues that is so pretty yes i love it and just to show you one more time what you will have you can see one more time all those colors look at all those bushes how pretty that's the only like more busy canvas looking up there in the stitches but the sky area it's so simple Look at this beautiful deer, their horns, what is the leaves, like what is on their horns, leaves or butterflies, no, it's probably like a leaves, so maybe this is like a spring coming, maybe it's a winter and deers represent that it's spring coming, I'm not sure because it looks like a blooms up there or leaves, or fall and it's a f first frost, I don't know let me know what you think about those uh, bushes up there look so good very pretty absolutely stunning don't you think yeah awesome awesome thank you so much for this wonderful time you spent with me i do appreciate a lot please comment and tell me what you think about all the stuff uh, which one from this two was your favorite i picked today both of them in oh the bed stock my symbols both of them in 11 count ada and i have one more in 11 but that was like i decided to review next time because this is winter and the other one pretty much just a character so i decided to separate the other canvas to my next video review so more video reviews coming up Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.